I bribed a doctor at an elite clinic to get rich quick. I got the medical records of single, elderly millionaires. Found out which of them had less than a year left to live. And began my hunt. Sorry, I'm so embarrassed. Let me buy you the same drink. No way. I'm buying the drinks here, if you please. He was the perfect candidate. Fabulously rich, attracted to beautiful women, and terminally ill. I quickly and masterfully made him fall in love with me. And within two months, we were getting ready for our wedding. Hugh's daughters were my only obstacle. Dad, wake up! She's young enough to be your granddaughter. Don't you understand? She only wants your money. But I was prepared for such a reaction. And I decided to go all in. I'm sorry that you think that way about me. And to prove that I love your father's soul and not his money, I insist on a marriage contract. Even if I don't get anything, I'll still marry you. You looked at me like I was a saint all evening. And when we were left alone, what I expected happened. Uh, darling, I was touched by what you said today. Of course, there will be no marriage contract. I believe in the sincerity of your feelings. And after our wedding, all I have will be ours. We got married on the last day of summer. I was the happiest bride. I knew that I'd become a rich widow by the end of the year. How wrong I was! At first, everything was even better than I'd planned. Unfortunately, the disease is progressing faster than we thought. You have a little over a month left. Oh no! Doctor, is there nothing you can do? Honey, I've already accepted that no medicine would help. Actually, there is one medicine. It's experimental, and there is no guarantee, but... Give it to me. If there is even a small chance to be with my beloved longer, I'll take it. He immediately started taking this damn drug. I prayed to all the gods for it not to work. But after two weeks of taking it, a miracle happened. The disease started going away. The salt foggy bloomed right in front of our eyes. Darling, it's your love. It cured me. I was hoping that the drugs wouldn't work for long. But you not only managed to leave until our first anniversary, but also the second. And then I realized that I couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. Give me something to make you feel sick right away. Otherwise, I'll tell the police that you sold personal data of patients to me, and you'll lose your license. The same day, the doctor gave me a powder that was supposed to make me a widow quickly. At dinner, I sprinkled it onto my husband's food and started looking forward to my free, wealthy life. Darling, 
You look so happy today. Every day next to you is happiness for me. Especially your last one. What, what did you say, honey? I didn't hear that. I said that the pasta is just divine. Try it. The fossil started eating without suspecting anything. And after a few minutes, he was lying on the floor unconscious. Finally, I've waited for this moment for so long. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. I immediately wore my grieving wife mask and opened the door. Help! My husband is unconscious! He collapsed! There were police officers by our house. Ma'am, your husband is standing right behind you. Come in, gentlemen. You are just in time. Here is a video of my wife putting poison into my plate. Ma'am, you are charged with attempted murder. You have right to be silent. But how... how did you know about the poison? My doctor warned me about it. She said she's ready to lose her license that be guilty of someone's death. Not everyone is ready to cross that scary line like you are. At that moment, I sorrowfully realized that greed for money had ruined me. Trying to dig a pit for my husband, I fell into it myself. Remember, as long as you wish bad for others, nothing will ever go in your favor. Thank you.